We're going to do a three-hander, but we're not going to do forwards alphabet. We're not going to do backwards alphabet. We're going to do the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics alphabet. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, obviously, you're probably thinking, how does that go? Well, hieroglyphics uses pictures to denote words and meanings and stuff like that. And they're going to come up on the screen in a moment, and one at a time, as we perform this scene, our lines of dialogue are going to be inspired by the pictures. Can I have a suggestion of something that frightens you? Gherkins. Michael Jackson. What was this one? Gherkins. Gherkins. Okay. So many questions. Right? Yeah. Okay. There was so much baggage under that. As well. Right. So, fear of gherkins is going to inspire this, and if we get the hieroglyphics, this will. If we go that vague order, go for it. So I was, so I was sitting at a picnic table. It was spiked right into the floor, and and, and she passed me the gherkins. Oh, 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 God! That is, that is more than I can take. I can't take it, Sam. <laughs> Let me just go get my pickaxe. I'll help with the picnic table. Listen to me. You don't understand, so lend me your ears because you think it's just about the, the, the taste and the texture of gherkins, but it's, it's about what they represent. Oh. Tell me what they represent to you. <laughs> <laughs> my lucky rabbit's foot always used to be around my neck. It would protect me from the image of those green slimy things that that man once pressed inside me. <laughs> <laughs> In my mouth. <laughs> it was that cowboy with that earring, wasn't it? He came along and he put a gherkin in your mouth. Oh. And then I became weirdly religious for a while. It was a weird Hanukkah. <laughs> and I prayed that, that I would never see, see a gherkin again. Well, a little bird told me that... Um, as Three little birds, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> upon my doorstep, singing sweet songs, a melody pure and true, they were. <laughs> See what you got what I did. Right, but anyway, they told me that we may have some gherkins here tonight. What do you have to say for yourself, Sam? I'm just going to sit and do some yoga. I think that's the only <laughs> thing I can do to help me with this situation. I'm just going to... I get it. I, uh, I'm going to do some yoga too. <laughs> oh. Well, I need to piss! I'm not, I'm, where are the toilets around here? We're here talking about these liquidy things and I need to piss! <laughs> oh, the, 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 uh, over there is where the men's toilets is. Oh. The ladies is that way. That's the men's side. And that's the goats' toilets. <laughs> you know what? I don't know if I believe you. There's something... There's something fishy about this Gherkins Anonymous meeting. I think you made up the whole thing about the cowboy. I think you made up the whole thing about the yoga. Yes. Well, let me sit down and tell you why that isn't true! <laughs> I told you when I was riding that ram that everything was true about Gherkins. Everything I told you. Ooh. Look, I'm going to put a fork in this matter right now and try one of these gherkins. What? I'm going to slide it in my mouth just like Cheryl did to me all those years ago. Put three in, that's how you'll really get rid of it. Three of them. There you, go. you know what? It's raining. We've only got two umbrellas, but I think you can stand under my umbrella while e we eat a gherkin each. <laughs> uh, uh, apart from you who's... Oh! And the gherkin's hanging right out of his chin. <laughs> uh, we've really got to grab the bull by the horns and do some CPR here or something. <laughs> that was easy. Took a gherkin right... <laughs> My tits have never felt more plump and erect. Uh, <laughs> 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 